Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be doing a version 2 of my Sage or Breville Bambino Plus review. I did my first overview review video of the Bambino Plus almost a year ago, so now nearly a year on, having had a lot more experience with this machine, I thought I'd create a version 2 of the review. For my in-depth blog post review, by the way, go to coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash BP. This little espresso machine is amazing in a nutshell, and I'll tell you why really quickly before I get on with the rest of the video and actually demonstrate what I'm talking about. When it comes to espresso quality, it has a PID, which means digital temperature control. Obviously, it doesn't stand for that, but that's essentially what it is. It has true low pressure pre-infusion, automatic or manual. It pulls shots at nine bars of pressure and I'll come back to that. It now comes with standard baskets as well as pressured baskets. And if you bought one before they started sending them out with standard baskets, by the way, you can buy them from the Sage or Breville websites and I'll put links in the description below to that. What all this means is better tasting espresso and more consistent results from shot to shot. When it comes to milk texturing, it has auto milk texturing with three temperature settings and three foam settings. And you can steam milk manually with the Bambino Plus and get results just as good as you'd get with a two or even 3,000 pound espresso machine. Not quite as quick, but overall steaming time, depending on your preferred milk temperatures, around 45 to 50 seconds, so not bad at all. And what this all means is that when it comes to milkies, cappuccinos, flat white, latte, etc., the Bambino Plus is better than any other espresso machine that I'm aware of right now at this kind of price level. When it comes to user friendliness and beginner friendliness, it's compact, it's good looking, it takes up a very small footprint and it's quite short as well, so it'll fit under most kitchen cupboards. It has a three second warm up time, very fast steam ready time after pulling a shot and very fast to get back to shot temperature after steaming milk. It's got customizable factory preset single and double shot buttons with auto pre-infusion and the ability to also pull manual shots with manual pre-infusion time up to 10 seconds. It's got very simple yet effective auto milk texturing and the ability to manually steam milk. And by the way, about the nine bars of pressure that I mentioned earlier, most cheaper espresso machines come set to pull shots at 15 bars of pressure, and this isn't great for shot quality. Nine bars has been widely regarded as a perfect pressure for espresso since day one. 15 bars of pressure can lead to channeling, which I won't get into too much, but just trust me, channeling isn't good, at least to bad tasting espresso. There is some confusion about the bars of pressure with the Bambino Plus, which I can clear up now after having spoke to someone at Sage. Yes, it has a 15 bar pump, but it has an overpressure valve, which is set to nine bars. So after the low pressure pre-infusion, the pressure gradually increases to nine bars and then stays there. So anyway, what all this means is that it's one of the best espresso machines on the market, possibly even the best when it comes to user friendliness, and in particular, beginner friendliness, in my humble opinion. In fact, straight out of the box, with no modding, I don't think there's any other espresso machine at this price, at least in the UK, which is better than the Bambino Plus overall. The only machine which I think does compete at the same price is the Gaggio Classic Pro. And click here for that video or see coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash GC. With a bit of extra investment of time and money in modding the Classic and pairing it with a more capable espresso grinder, the Classic arguably has the potential for better shot quality than the Bambino Plus. And the Classic is a machine that's made to be maintained and to last for years, decades even. And the Bambino Plus isn't that kind of machine. But out of the box, with no modding, the Bambino has a potential, certainly for more consistent shots than the Classic, as you'd need to mod the Classic to fit a PID to make it as temperature stable. And in the UK at least, there's really no other espresso machine at this price that I think really competes, as I say, other than the Classic. So that's the good stuff. And overall for the price point, I think this is one of the best options. If I was looking at spending up to 400 quid on an espresso machine or $500 in the States, this is possibly what I'd go for. 
In the UK, I'd probably go for this or the Gadget Classic Pro, as I've mentioned. If it was in the US though, or other countries where it's been released, I'd also be very interested in the Bambino, the base level, so the non-plus version, which is the lower priced $299 version in the States. It's almost the same machine, just without the auto steaming. It's got a smaller water tank. I think it's 1.2, 1.4 litres. 1.2, I think. And it's even smaller in terms of overall footprint. But the cheaper machine also has a feature that the Bambino Plus doesn't have, which is you can use a steam wand as an instant hot water outlet. The negatives of the Bambino Plus, well, there really aren't many at all. It's lightweight, so it moves when you're locking and unlocking the porter filter. It's very easy to move it, and you just get used to putting one hand on the machine to stabilize it, as I have. It has a small drip tray, as I've mentioned in the past, but I've got used to that as well. And the one thing I do is simply to put a jug under the steam wand when pushing it back down. So when it auto purges, it does it into a jug rather than into the drip tray. That helps save a bit of space in the drip tray. The cleaning cycles can be a little bit tricky to understand, partially due to the instructions not being the clearest, but watch this video here and that'll sort that out. It's all really simple once you know how. So enough talking, let's use the Sage Bambino Plus. It's important that you purge a few grams of coffee to get rid of the exchanged retention, which is any of the grounds that are left from last time you ground, especially when you dial it in, when you're changing the grind size or the first time you use the machine in the morning or the first time after a couple of hours, for example, you don't want to be using stale coffee. And these are the My Weight Barista scales and I'll put a link on the top left hand side of the screen to the review I've done of these. Use the razor tool, which I'd always recommend with Sage machines, because it helps you get the dose right and make sure that you've got a level surface of the puck with coffee. Importantly, I need to turn the machine on, but it doesn't matter that I've not done it yet because it takes three seconds. One, two, three. Would help if I had a cup. Just warming the cup here and uh, warming up the group head, etc. because it's been cold, I've already just turned it on. And as you can see, that's under extracting far too fast. I don't want to bore you with more grinding, so I've just ground off camera. Okay, so my milk steaming technique, which you can see in more detail on the video at the top left of your screen, is slightly different to the normal techniques you'll see for steaming milk and it's quite specific to the Bambino Plus. So what I do is I start a rolling phase before the aeration for about five, six seconds, about five seconds. So all I'm doing is getting the milk spinning. I'm not aerating the milk at that point. And then after about five seconds, I then start the aeration, keeping the milk spinning, keeping the angle, and I do that for about 30 seconds, so about 35 seconds total time by that point. And then I lift the jug up slightly to stop the aeration, stop that sort of ripping paper sound, that hissing sound. And I'm just then heating the milk and I'll stop about, usually for me, about 47 seconds seems to want to get to between 60 and 65 degrees Celsius, which is what I like to get the milk up to. So. Let's do that. So we get the angle and then 
just five seconds, just rolling, and then start the aeration. Hear that hissing sound, not too aggressive. Just keep that up for about 30 seconds, I find. Is about right. You can alter that depending on how stiff or how dry you want your foam. Now, stop the hissing sound. I've just lifted the jug up slightly and I'm just rolling the milk now. And that'll do. Purge, shut up, purge. Sorry, wipe the wand even. And do that. I find if you do that, and you get two big lumps, it's an, indica oops. It's an indication that your texture is okay. What do I need? A cup. A cup would help. Don't appear to have brought any cappuccino cups for me, so I'm going to be pouring latte art into a cup I've never used before, which is a good idea for a video. But hey ho, we'll give it a go anyway. Not bad considering I've never poured into one of these cups before. So there you go, my updated review of the Sage Bambino Plus. And after a year, I'd still definitely recommend this machine. As I've said, at this price, at present in the UK at least, the only machine I think that really competes with the Sage Bambino Plus is the Gadget Classic Pro. You can see my comparison video here. There's a Sage Duotemp Pro, of course, but in the UK, this machine is almost the same price as a Bambino Plus, and it has the original slower thermocoil versus the new super fast thermojet system that the Bambino Plus and Barista Pro have. So personally, I don't think that's a contender unless they were to drop the price quite a bit. I've put links in the description below to check the current prices on both Amazon and Sage Appliances or Breville. And remember, you can read my more in-depth blog post review at coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash BP. Thank you very much for watching. Please click the like button. Cheers. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not click here to watch another one? And don't forget, if you want to become a fully certified coffee botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel. Tatty bye.